Hi, I'm Ken Burton. I've been a professional woodworker for going on, oh, 20 some years, and built lots of different things in that time. Been a professional cabinet maker. I do a lot of furniture work. Um, I've taught some workshops. I've even written some books. In fact, this is my latest effort. This is about the table saw. Today, rather than talk to you about table saw things, although the gripper works on the table saw, um, they've asked me here to talk to you a little bit about the router table, which we've got set up, and some of the advantages this new tool has got. Now, the gripper's not been on the market for a real long time, but it's something I'm beginning to get more and more comfortable with using and finding some neat things it'll do. So we're going to look at some of those this morning and how it works well right now with the router table and later on with some other things. So let's look at a cut. This is a fairly typical cut on a piece of wood. This is going to be a, a molding. It's called a bull nose. It's got, or actually I think maybe this bit is a thumbnail bit, but it's a radius cut. It's going to cut away the entire face of the board. Now, before the advent of the gripper, I would make this cut using a regular wooden push stick, set it on here, and if I can find the hook, there's the hook, I'm going to push this through. Now, in an ideal situation, I might have a router table that has a split fence where I can adjust the one side of the fence forward to make up for the fact that I am cutting the entire face away. Unfortunately, we don't have that set up. I don't have it in my shop. It's something I don't really like to mess with. It causes some problems. Let's look. This is the standard way to make this cut. it will be safe. Let's make our first cut and look at what usually happens. I've stopped part way through this cut. So you could take a look. And if you look real closely, you can see that the part, the molding that I've cut, is coming, it's away from the fence. And that's because we've milled away the entire surface of that board. When I pick up and we're going to continue this cut, what's going to happen as it goes past, when it gets to, oh, somewhere around here, it's going to snipe in a little bit and it's going to cut a little deeper at the trailing edge of this board. And that's not good. I don't want that. So let's let's see what happens when I when I make this cut. Okay. So I finished the cut. You may have actually heard the snipe. You may have seen it happen, but you can see it real clearly here. This it's about three quarters of an inch long, and it's definitely dipped in. So I'd either have to cut that off, sand it out, do something, because it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good at all. So, now, how do we get rid of this? I could rebuild the fence, make a, a split fence, but it's, it's a nuisance. It really is. Let's take a look at what the gripper can do in this situation. Instead of this, I'm going to just do the other side of the board. And set it on there. I need to adjust it. Now, I've removed one of the legs and I, I want to adjust the center leg so it's more or less in the center thing. I don't want to have the center leg get cut. I'm going to put the balance support down on the table so it's a nice very stable. Now one of the neat things with a gripper is that the handle is adjustable. Grab a screwdriver here. And I can move it at a little bit of a skew angle so I can get my hand in comfortably. It gets, lets me get pressure in toward the fence. I'm going to start off, make sure my piece is in against the fence. All right, let's make this next cut.
I finished the cut, I'm going to take the gripper away. Now, what you didn't see when this was happening was you couldn't see that there was no snipe. I didn't hear it, I don't know if you heard it on the tape or not, but it didn't snipe. If I take this away carefully, you can see this piece stayed that little bit of distance away from the fence. The gripper held it perfectly. The edge of the gripper is what actually did the, gui the guidance for the last little bit of the cut. So it rode right along the fence and didn't allow this piece to drop into the cutter creating that snipe. So it's a really slick way of preventing that from happening. So you can see this is our bed cut with a snipe on it and then the same cut made with the gripper and it's no snipe is a much nicer cut much less work to clean up